it will go down to wire in the remaining games of the MTN Premier League. Boys will be separated from men, wit from the chaff, ship from the goats, but football fans would have to wait a little longer. This weekend failed to do that. Babane Highlanders have failed to take advantage and reclaim their top spot against leaders Leopard. Elsewhere, there were also draws from Mabane Swallows, Manzini Wanderers and Manzini Seabirds. With the National First Division calling, teams whose head is on the chopping block are forever out playing for survival and that was evident when Bobovo hosted Moneni Pirates at the Mavosa Sports Centre. In a surprising start, Sbusiso Tfala reacted the quickest to equalise for Bobovo. On a red hot form, Bobovo were throwing numbers up front. Simanga came close for the host to his header just wide of the mark. Second stones are so Vovovo creating their first chance at goal. The Mochane based team were creating chances but failing to turn them into goal. Pirates' first chance came deep into the half, their lone effort not quite threatening. That created a much needed confidence booster as they produced a great attempt at goal. Pirates were seeing much of the ball, goals were their only let down. Nkolisi produced a brilliant save to deny Sibonelo Smelane. Minutes later, Smelane was not to be denied, giving Moneni a much deserved advantage. Pirates were not slowing down and continued testing the keeper from a distance. Mbongeni Makakula came closer to extending Pirates' lead, his attempt off the mark. Damuizi was sent for an early shower after his reckless tackle on Mpumuzo Sangweni. Tabeza was called to action soon after. That's all the action we'll see on the day with Pirates walking away the winners. With just three games before the curtain close, football fans were treated to a clash of the heavyweights at the King Sopuza the second Memorial Stadium. Babane Swallows and Young Buffaloes faced off in a quest to topple Leopard and Highlander at the top of the log. A packed King Sopuza Stadium had an expecting crowd and the hosting Swallows looked to deliver. Very much in control, chances were created in the opening stages but did not pay off. Babane Swallows were struggling to connect up front.
In an intense encounter, players were attacking and defending as a unit and tough tacklings in the middle of the park were the order of the day. Fanelo Mamba tested the keeper from a distance. In a space of five minutes, the referee had flashed the yellow card twice for the same offense, different culprits. That's all the action we'll see in the first half. Not an impressive display in front of the chairman, Bishop Peggy Lukelem. The best of the half came at the restart with young buffaloes coming close. No one was safe as the medics also got some action from the sidelines. With chances hard to come by, coach Mnisi resorted to a triple substitution. The same was done by Musa Manyati introducing two of his goal poachers who have been busy on and off the field as they prepare for life after football. King Bemba was a casual in front of goal, busting it over the bar. Sandile Lechachuago's attempt was called offside. Felix Badenhorst came close with his header, safely collected by the keeper. No chance in the 90 minutes to break the deadlock with both Swallows and Buffalo failing to find a way through the top two. With all that said, it's all to play for in the remaining games after it ended goalless in Llangano. Although we didn't get the results, let us say we were anticipating that is we were going to win. So it was a, a hard game, Joma Wati could say. Uh, playing against uh, Buffaloes, it's all about jewels. They are good on jewels. It was more on power. So the week came elevating a lot of energy. I'm going to go to the first half. I'm going to go to the first half. I'm going to go to the first half. I'm going to go to the second half. I'm going to go to the second half. If you think things are cold at the top, then clearly you have not seen how cold things can be at the bottom as teams look to collect all points in a bid to see top line football next season. Rangers hosted Malandi in a battle for survival at the Kings of Buza, the second Memorial Stadium. The team from Peaks Peak looked to have mastered the formula for survival in previous seasons. They find themselves in a familiar territory once again. The only difference this time around is that four teams are facing the X, making it more harder for them. Rangers had their first real chance at goal five minutes into the half. Spamandla Mabuza missed out on an opportunity to put the host in front. It was all Rangers in the opening stages with the keeper called to action. Malandi had a couple of long range attempts but were not traveling at all. Zwani Lebembe benefited from a well whipped in cross, making no mistake, putting Rangers ahead. Malandi thought they had equalized, their goal ruled offside. For the second time this season, Skogo was given the matching orders. By now, he's used to watching the match from the stands. 
Rangers were the quickest to get on the scoreboard, courtesy of Sandy Letfala at the restart of the second half. Trading by two goals, Malanti had to pull a rabbit out of the head and clear cut chances were not forthcoming. Malanti's attempt was too soft for the keeper, their body language not on survival mode. Spamanda Dudu came close to extending the host lead. Togozani Kanyila got a much needed goal for Malanti. With time not on their side, Malandi were in search of an equalizer, but the keeper was not having it at all. Rangers held on to take all three points, sinking Malandi deep into the relegation zone. When we came there, it's six points. We need to work good because Malandi is now the pass. So we should have a new English pass. It was very important. This was a final. Let's just say the first half was not here. So, but the, the minutes I was here, the, we, we, did bet. It's only that we couldn't utilize the, the chances that came by. Had we utilized those chances, then to go a different story. Having dropped two crucial points midweek, Mbabane Highlanders were out to right their wrongs and reclaim their spot as joint log leaders at the top of the summit when they hosted defending champions Rai Leopard at the Mavosa Sports Centre. The Mbabane Giants have not had an easy outing of late with their last ending in a six-goal thriller and one before that being cancelled due to heavy storms. You know what they say, you can't send a boy to do a man's job and the army side were out to prove just that, cementing their status as kings of Swazi football. With the stakes much higher this time around, the black and white outfits are as close as they've ever been to a trophy that has eluded them for the past 21 years. The home side were first of the starting block with a scully shot wide of the target. A couple of minutes later, Tony Muchacha's free header did not trouble the keeper at all. To what would be Leopard's first attempt at goal, the referee came to the rescue after Shabalala's failure to collect the ball. Highlanders were a team under pressure and one could sense the need for an early lead and were in search of the net. In quick succession, the Highlanders were throwing numbers up front with the Cape Town supported by Muchacha and Muloto. Visumuzi Vilagasi also had a quick run in with the keeper, but Ngamiso was well aware of the danger. At this point, it was a one way stream and everything falling on Lamini's way. The keeper had to improvise quickly, and a diving header was all needed to eliminate the threat. Ingunzi were patient, building from the back, and were unlucky to have not gotten something out of Muchacha's foul inside the box. The referee signaling that football is a contact sport and that he won't be giving soft penalties. Soon after Inkunzi were not to be denied, Lindogu Sentolo Fagutse placing it home easy as a Sunday morning. Five minutes later, the host almost extended their lead, but Leopard's defense were on high alert, kicking it out to the safety zone. Lamini saw leaky of the ball in the opening exchange as the visitors struggled to bridge Highlanders' defense. That's all the action we'll see in the first half, with Highlanders taking a much deserved 1 0 lead at the break.
Leopards attackers, who were nowhere to be seen in the first half, were in the hunt at the restart of the second half. Junior Makakula came close for the visitors, his shot blocked by Muloto. Soon after, the Mbabane Giants were awarded a penalty after Emangoba Masego's foul on Muchacha. The Cape Town Sikali stepped up his shot wide off the mark, missing out on a glorious chance to take a two-goal lead. A man who's known to have a great relationship with the net was struggling on the day, missing out on yet another chance. Inkunzi were made to rue their missed chances, Smelane punishing them from close range. The goal brought some life into the game, the wake-up call very much needed as they continued pressing forward. Smilane with yet another chance with the woodwork coming to the rescue. Lucky escape for Inko Nzim. Similane continued being a menace up front with Leopard playing like a team with nothing to lose. In the closing stages of the game, Smilane thought he had won the match for Leopard, only to be ruled offside. That's how the match will end with both teams sharing the spoils. last four games, I knew it's going to be like this. And I remember every game that we're playing is from now because of the tightness of uh, uh, the top four. It's like a cup final. So we're going to have to come and die in the field no matter what. I think we, we have done well. We gave ourselves a big, big, big chance uh, first half. Uh, uh, that's why we managed to score a goal. We kept on going. We scored that goal. We kept on going. We kept on going. That second goal could not come. We came back from second half. I think we started well again. We started well. We created a penalty, we missed that penalty, of which it happens in this game of football. After that, you know, we started being sluggish, especially on the left-hand side. We were getting caught a little bit. That's where they created chances and they scored from the left-hand side. But at the end of the day, I will say, I will take this point and see how far can I go with it. Eh? Okay, now, it's a, 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 naturally, the football is a game of two halves. Uh, you dominate the first half, the likelihood is a I don't dominate the second half. I didn't have to dominate the first half. Uh, but uh, we because we are under pressure, let's absorb the pressure. And the But seven and a half are strong and we created more goals than Highlanders. We should have left the game uh, the second half. Otherwise uh, the was not on our side.